Big Brother reunion starts in four days. Who is leaving me here, guys? I don't know, sorry. I have. Boy, it's fine. Family matters, totally. So I'm not a family anymore. <laughs> you are still my family, but. Guys. Special. It is. Yeah. I just hope this is not cutting my head off because the amount of things I'm trying to. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> now it might be the way you stretch. <laughs> Guys, I'm waiting for my team. There's a lot of issues in me, and I guess I'll be bored. Just go here. I just go here. I, just go here. I, watch that. I swear. Yeah, it's some unforeseen circumstances. But I thank God for life, honestly. That's the most important thing, right? Mm -hmm. Where are you parked? I hope I look fine in this video. I hope you look fine. Where? 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 Almost, Where? We're almost done. Um, let's just ask the hair dryer to give us a minute or two and then we will wrap up. <laughs> just five minutes. No. Okay. So, yeah. So, basically, that's, that's one of the few things I want to work on um, on top of what I'm really working mm -hmm. on. So, because of our communication, which is the advertising company, I want to make it digital yeah. online instead of out of home. But, obviously, I'm not going to completely uh, leave that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, like I said, coffee with Kossi, that's definitely oh. uh, in a way. <laughs> that has so, uh, we'll see yeah. if you have you know, a boot camp coming up, you know, let's cheer you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, what can your Nigerian supporters expect from the boot camp? Uh -huh. Sorry, say that again. Um, what can your supporters in Nigeria expect from your, your upcoming boot camp? Sorry, sorry, I'm trying to focus, but I'm, I'm, I'm also trying to listen to the lady here. <laughs> something about the boot yes camp. yes what can your supporters expect from it oh yes oh that's gonna be such a fun light uh, <laughs> boot camp. i'm so excited yeah. i'm not gonna lie i'm so excited because um i, I was working on the type of exercises that we're gonna yeah. do um i'm aware that a lot of the people maybe are gonna come are just gonna be uh people that are following me and supporting me so i can't really make it like a hardcore boot camp like the ones i'm going to <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you know but also at the same time i just i really wanted i want them to go home to be like yo no i felt that yeah. so it's just, it's gonna be good balance between um the basic exercises that we should all know and a lot of fun i really want to have fun yeah uh, i think the number one thing that i emphasize about this boot camp was that guys i really want us to have fun so um because i know it's going to be a lot of cosy range yeah. and i want us to <laughs> have a little mini a uh, fitness party that's what i want it to be so i'm very excited <laughs> i'm very excited about it i'm not gonna lie yeah. No, 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 no. It sounds like it's going to be amazing. Um, so we do want to take a couple of questions at the end, but we don't want to keep you for too long. For a very, very long time, I don't the shiver. And it be like saying a fever. I the catch it cold. Oh, you know, tomorrow. Baby, I the catch it cold. <laughs> Hello, my MVPs, my adorables. How are you doing? And how? And hope you all are having a great Thursday so far. Anyways, ignore the cold that is catching me. I'm also having a, a sweet Thursday because it's been raining since morning here in Lagos. And I see pure strong pluvial fire. I am a lover of rain, so it is no skin pain at all. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Are you still sitting on a fat long thing? Kindly post right now. Subscribe, then turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me how do you want to get the gist? I said I heard. So, guys, there are lots of gist in this particular video. I would advise you watch this video to the very end because now the end, the gist today, gone, gone. Like I saved the last for the best as usual. So, kindly watch till the very end, okay? Let's sail. All right, before I start to talk about the baby Titan kids, why I am here, let's talk a bit about the big brother Naija housemate, okay? Follow Heart said, This is the list of two ex big brother housemates I can never like in this life. No mortal words. Number one is Fina. Number two is Tacha. I don't know. I still have soft spot for Corsi, but no redemption for both Tacha and Fina. 
guys just heal I, you guys take this big brother thing for too way too far like you just hate somebody you don't know just like that it is good to dislike somebody's character but come on now start hating them i beg i beg i beg i beg i beg and you are not saying there is nothing they can do you can like them like really anyways anyways last last all of nago they all right in your numbers <laughs> So, talking about Fina, earlier today, she posted something about her tribalizing 26. That is her birthday that just passed, okay? She actually, you know, posted a memory of it, okay? Having the events that happened, how the Fina nation gifted her. And on after she posted that, under her post, somebody commented and said, how about getting married? Is this how foolish and stupid, I'm so sorry to use this word, guys, that some people can be? Like somebody is celebrating, is having a remembrance, hailing her fans who who made it up for her, who put it up for her, gifted her, thanking them, calling their names, you know, hailing them that they, they really did a lot, that is still so so real for her. And all you could comment under her post is, how about getting married? Nah, nah, waffle now. So guys, you know, I was telling you guys from my previous video about how people, you know, are, are trying to, you know, Put up beauty with him, sugar, um, sugar daddy saga. Okay, as they said, um, the aeroplane, the um, airline she was using is that of her certain, certain sugar daddy, and then her and Kimopra were using that same, you know, airline. Anyways, the B Navy have gone, have come out to show them that okay, if you think that is what it is, this is the name of the airline. The name of the airline is Execute Jets. I actually just did not bring the main pictures, and this is how all their plane is. This is how all their plane is. And it now happened that it was the same plane that they even used in picking the man up. So I do not know why people would just stay to be framing things up. Like just because of they do not like a person, they will start framing things up. That is why I said on the social space, before you tend to pick up a thing they said about people, be very sure of the particular blogger carrying that news out. If Because some bloggers are, are just good with, you know, carrying out fake news you know so be very careful with what you take in and take out in the social media Drew Oge said in all you do have sense but again you won't understand because poverty has carried the better part of your brain <laughs> oh idiotic element hmm. instead of you to put this energy in trying a cookathon you are here making a fool of yourself please call them and ask for the owner okay he said here is that not the Jet EFCC used to pick him up. Does it mean beauty owns EFCC? I've been an EFCC chairman, be our next conquest. So, here, people, this you know, I actually share this picture. If you have watched my previous video, and if you don't understand the gist that I'm talking about, kindly go to my previous video before you come back to this one. You know, one thing, me, 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 me always do I do a follow up so as to keep you guys in check so that I don't sell the a wrong narrative to you guys okay and also they have also you know gotten another proof that flavor one of our favorite musician nigerian musician also uses that jet okay as he said flavor is beauty co-wife oh well, we are getting there small small and you if you want to know who flavor is flavor is actually um how would i put it you know bella right big bella bella's um sister's um baby mama or this was wife how would i put it they are not married though but um, Bella sister has kids for flavor and now people has now dug out because of uh, flavor is involved people now have not dug out what Bella you know posted 11 years ago as she said I see cute boys love struck hmm we don't deal with boys anymore sis we deal with daddy's law so people you know people you know people were like saying um beauty is this, is this housemate that they are happy that they stand housemate that are not that, are, that doesn't do sugar daddy blah 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 people are bragging then uh, um, netizens has gone out to dog out from what Bella posted 11 good years ago. <laughs> Guys, as I say, see the social space. Whatever you do, make sure you are you are straight, like you're playing, okay? If not, the, the FBI's on social media will go and dig out something you have forgotten. Okay, Taiege said, this is a tweet from Bella about 11 years ago when she was barely 14, 15, outrightly tweeting that she deals with daddies. She couldn't spell well then too, but she's, she went to launder her image via BBN. She X2 and their fans think they can cook on top beauty's head, non-entities. Okay, the reason why these people 
how to go dig this out is because how body checked fc the um bella was bella's name again and um, the rebels they've been you know dragging um beauty of course we all know that they were not quite close in the house we know all know what happened healthy general said dragging beauty because of the same plain flavor bella's sister's baby daddy posted with and wondering why bella's name is an eight going by your logic they are all emifele sugar children groovy drama didn't teach you all that karma is beauty takura <laughs> wahala that's why i said by the time you drag other people's faith are you ready when your faith is being dragged i keep telling you this on the social streets if you know you are not ready do not drag other people's faith it is so pitiful how haters of beauty badly want to tag her to sugar daddies and it is not giving making themselves looking miserable and frustrated most especially women who are married but still wailing on single girls matter is your marriage that that miserable and boring huh hmm anyway the truth is that uh, we are in we are in a social space where the celebrity has given us their life to analyze on and there is no two way about it that you cannot you cannot help it but we must talk about those people beauty remains the most successful and self-independent housemate of level season and that's fact you all know this but jealousy can can't let you all celebrate the grace upon her life anyway my own is whether she has a sugar daddy or whether she doesn't have a sugar daddy if you guys are giving us um gist give us a gist that has facts okay do not throw this housemate based on fake you know narrative be navy fbi by be navy fbi on this app now who know fear on our they play chai the things i am seeing on my tl come for beauty and get your faves exposed love how god keep working in beauty's favor that name you all badly want to tag with that name you all want to oh my goodness what is happening mimi is it this code <laughs> that name you all badly want to tag her with your fave once claimed it with their full chest <laughs> anyways guys I, nobody should laugh me about this code though. nobody should i just the shiva but i love the weather okay ji said i keep wondering why some big brother top babes that are so promising and can do a lot by themselves and can actually be a big fish in the industry if they are willing to work on their craft will be going after men old enough to be their granddad it is quite appalling Hmm, it is too appalling, really. Anyways, let's enter to the BB Titan case, okay? I just needed to update that, that to let you guys know that that private jet issue that I discussed from my previous video is actually not legit, okay? Renny Zion said, Yvonne is the queen of endorsement of BB Titan, the face of premium ambassador, sorry, premium brand, ambassador extraordinary. No one come close, really? No one come close to Yvonne, like, really? Anyways, I am happy for her okay so guys earlier today taban cries out and was like in call, a number called him that he should not step out okay let's read this together got a call last night that they said i should be ready by eight and i will get communication on what to do from there but i shouldn't plan anything for today i have never been so scared in my life so guys this got some of the um t bangers trembling they were like what is happening the bank self they fear like what did they happen what did they occur and in my head i'm like are you sure the fans doesn't want to surprise him with something because you know these fans some of them can go over like overburned to do this for their favor let's see some of the comments though but Biana said, Jiki Jiki, you are walking into an arranged marriage. And this is what Tabank replied with. Anyways, <laughs> this arranged marriage of a thing, you, you all know why, you know, they put it up. Because of how shippers, you know, are taking ta the Cobank stuff ish. Anyway, talking about the Cobank stuff, we have to walk, talk something about them. Miss Ferris said, do you need bodyguard, sir? I am available just in case. Nje okay noyan so said when you are happy i am happy if you're sad i am also sad and now you are scared i am scared i am scared too but what i know you will make us proud my boy celebrating tabang tabang mazubuko stay safe said celebrating tabang shares to tabang week later tonight ah guys they said i should i should stay since it's long weekend i'll post the content promised on monday oh my this guy these fans you people are funny somebody is telling you guys that he is scared that a call came in and told him that he should get ready for eight okay and he should not step to anywhere else and all you could remember is because he promised you guys to post on his youtube content that's what you are trying to say that he will postpone it and that one is the most important thing for you guys wahala okay nikki said Okay, earlier today, uh, um, Kosi actually had an interview, right? Kosi actually had an interview with Briefly South African News. They actually did that on a Twitter space, okay? And actually, I dropped a few of the clips on this particular video. If you did not, if you passed through them, you can still go back and you would see them, okay? 
So they had she had little interview. Okay, her boot camp is also coming up on Saturday. Maybe I'll talk more about that later. Okay, no relationship question on the side. Her life post big brothers only kosi is big for the first time briefly hosting a twitter space for a housemate get active with kosi twala now guys i want to tell you guys something i don't know why ever since i've um i've I noticed the south africans are, tr are trying to diss the nigeria oap that um they are not um professionals like asking about shipping content blah 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 i do not like that notion do you know why not because i am in nigeria i am i am somebody that will not will not even participate in a country bias thingy but i think you guys are trying to be in a competition over everything if they do not ask them about ship what would they ask them what happened in the house is what they are asking them so i do not get what you people want them to ask them they ask them everything in between and it is fun that way you get my point uh-huh so still talking about Kosi here. Yeah. We we are no one thing ever since Kosi has been in that big brother's house, he's been topping on charts. And even since she left the house, he's been topping on the social charts. Ever since if I post Kosi is always there, you know. So she's actually retweeted this one and said, Nothing to see here, just me and my president holding XA down. You know, because the Kosirian have been carrying a placard, you know, bragging, saying, Oh, Kosi is the one, you know, she's always on the social charts. Where is your faith? There you know, and all that, okay in as much as the bragging is going on which is right you have the right to brag because it is not easy somebody being on the social chat back to back meaning that she is the most talk about but where i have a problem is coming for kanaga jr because of that i said it's her money said help me look for kanaga and tabang's name now my question is does this social chat actually brings money like i don't understand does it actually bring that does it give money Tab uh, Tabang's name has once appeared there, like you can see from this previous one, okay? Because people were actually, you know, mocking Tabang and Kanaga Jr. Their, their name barely come up. But I have seen their name, um, uh, what was his name, Tabang's name there, like more than once when he was in Lagos, okay? So I do not think this is what, you know, I always preach that you should hype your faith without dissing others. It will only make sense that way, okay? It will only make sense that way. All right, still talking about um, the, the coming for Kanaga Jr. You know, you remember when Kanaga Jr. and Yemi Kres went for Kores bed? If you, if you keep following my channel, there is no gist you will miss at all because there is definitely a follow back for every gist. So now, Donnie of Big Brother Niger Level Up actually tweeted that I kept quiet when... Okay, sorry. Donnie tweeted that um, she is the latest ambassador for Kores bed, you know? And people started coming for Kanaga Jr. mocking him that, oh, he went for that correct bed thinking that they would make him the ambassador. That he went for, he went there, even posted the owner's picture on his story. And yet, and yet, they didn't choose him. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, let's read this. I kept quiet when K was bragging that they have already bagged this, this deal. Kangaroo might be crying now, plus he is jealous. I mean, the guy even posted the CEO thinking they would take him. I do not know why a reasonable person would be glorifying something because of your happy something good did not happen for someone. But anyways, you guys should try and heal. Okay, let's talk about the um how they have been coming for Yemi. Craigs, okay, and do you know the funny thing? People coming for Yemi Craigs are the Kobang shippers because I know this we just arrived in as much as she stands cozy, but she's a Kobang shipper. Co confirm one, okay. They've been saying that um Yemi actually, you know, likes this particular tweet. We have eloquence the idol of Craig said to make Yemi Craigs jealous by kissing a toddler. Was it still to make Yemi Craigs jealous after he was evicted? Well, it is good, you know. You went too far with that bullshit, okay? Now the the the, the um those people are actually you know trolling Yemi that he actually liked this particular tweet and they've been coming for Yemi ever since then. And uh, they said Yemi is actually you know promoting violence. That is why he has never called his fan base to order and all that. As we just arrived, said his likes went from went from one thousand four hundred and sixty nine to one thousand four hundred and sixty eight. The coward unliked the comment. Stop trying to say it was photoshopped. He is a he is a petty old <clears throat> anyways it is how you guys come for yemi for me like because of these shippers you guys should rest i bet we could not rest we could not rest there is nothing happening anymore so you went to go and look for like how he did not like or unlike and how are you sure he did that this ashy boy enjoy the way his fans throw k that's why he has never called them to order to order one day loser from day one he found them amusing anyways it is how you guys you know took took this thing so, so deep that since yesterday Kosi had this interview this thing is still going on and on and now the shippers are the one taking it so serious and i think the koban shippers are taking it so personal because of how it is not going well between <laughs> the koban ship okay 
how hell said he is only growing body wisely but mind and maturity zero you got born by the fire you started i carry they say you moved on dryly hey hey he old man, you you old. Anyways, anybody that is mocking somebody about being old, hope you don't want to grow old, right? Okay. Deliciously made said, Yemi would like whatever tweet he wants to like. You 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 hoes can't do nothing. The most the most you people will do is cry. So keep crying. Yemi is always right. Yemi is not the reason Kobang failed, and your faith four year old married man BF left her. The thing is. I think those people are shippers doing this. It is not the coastal. The coastal are no sense really like that. Though the coastal are actually, they're actually attacking with the Craig Force. Yes, that I know. Because when the tweets, uh, sorry, the um, media, um, um, Coastal's media came out, okay, because of the way having exchange of words. But that, we are just arrived FC that I saw there is a staunch Coban shippers. Okay, you are obsessed with Yemi even more than our delusional failed Coban ship. Even more than your delusional failed Coban ship. Okay, I told you guys she's a uh, Coban shipper. You monitor Yemi's move and even go to the extent of editing likes. And if he likes the tweet, so what? What will you do? Yemi is not the reason Tabang does not want Kosi. Mm. Anyways, I'm not going to say more than this, but my own is you guys take things so deep, okay? They've been calling Yemi names, oh, and I'm like, for what? Is this one necessary? And um, baby girl have had her interview. That one don't pass. She's living with her life. And she will still see these people on the road and they will say hello, hi. And they go walk up pass. It is not that deep. Like this beginning of this video, I told you guys, I read something. Someone said they hate Fina and Tacha. Taking things so deep. Like you will never like them for what? Anyways, I'll be ending this video on this note. To inform if, um, those people that have been, you know, doubting about who the owner of Active Lifestyle is. It is here in Google. You can Google anything you need about this housemates okay now who whose name is there they say i should tell you people that whose name is here of course you can see Kosi Twala's name there for the people that are saying it's marvin that owns it i hope i clear this out right now anyways guys i have to sign off with my foot chest right now i have to drop my voice right now we have spoken enough hope we all sailed well okay if you've got to this section of this video you actually know where you belong in my heart you have a special part in my heart okay thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys later Bye bye